so if you write down for nitrous oxide you all people should be aware nitrous oxide is also popularly called as laughing gas if inhaled by anyone it causes unnecessary laughter now for n2o nitrous oxide you can write down one mole is na molecules all uh, right so uh, atomicity for nitrogen is 2 so you will multiply by 2 for oxygen atomicity is 1 and total atomicity is 3 so 3 into any total atoms and if you add the weight of nitrogen and oxygen its gram molecular mass will be 44 is it a gas yes then it will occupy 22.4 liter for sulfur dioxide on a similar scale one mole of sulfur dioxide will be na molecule and will be 64 gram its molecular mass and it is a gas therefore 22.4 liter what is the atomicity of sulfur one one into na sulfur atoms atomicity of oxygen two total atomicity three this is how you write down now right we go to numerical which are based on finding number of atoms like find number of hydrogen atom present in 3.4 gram of ammonia how you do this type of a question we write down one mole of ammonia and we know one mole of ammonia is 17 gram and 17 gram has n a molecules but we are interested in hydrogen what is the atomicity of hydrogen 3 so 3 into na hydrogen atoms now they want us to connect gram with hydrogen atom so we pick up gram and we pick up hydrogen atom from the equation and we re-establish and write down new equation so 17 gram is 3 into na hydrogen atoms so 3.4 gram will correspond to how much if you cross multiply you will get number of hydrogen atoms that will be 3 into 3.4 into n a divided by 17 17 ones are 17.2s are so answer will be 0.6 into na if you want to write down proper answer 0.6 into 6.02 into 23 hydrogen atoms so what we did in this numerical we wrote one mole of ammonia 17 gram which is as per mole concept na molecules but we are not interested in molecule we are interested in hydrogen atom so atomicity of hydrogen multiplied by na so 17 gram corresponds to 3 into na so 3.4 gram corresponds to how much cross multiply you will get number of hydrogen atom by cross multiplication if you have understood this try doing question number two on your own you can pause this video and solve this question on your own yes i suppose you would have solved it if you have solved it check along with me sulfuric acid is liquid one mole of sulfuric acid is 98 gram because sulfur is 32 hydrogen is one oxygen is 16 and it has n a molecules but we are interested in hydrogen oxygen and so on so hydrogen is 2 into n a hydrogen atoms how many oxygen 4 into n a oxygen atoms how much sulfur atoms 1 into n a sulfur atoms how many total atoms 7 into n a total atoms now you want to solve mass with the atoms so pick out mass pick out hydrogen atoms and make a relation and then solve so as per this equation 98 gram is 2 into n a hydrogen 
atoms. What is given? Given is 0.49 gram. 0.49 gram corresponds to how much? Cross multiply, you will get the answer for hydrogen atoms. We are not calculating. We are going to keep it as it is. You can go ahead and calculate. They want for oxygen also. Again, we pick out 98 gram is 4 into Na oxygen atoms. 4 into Na oxygen atoms. What is given? Given is 0.49 gram. Corresponds to how many oxygen atoms? Cross multiply, you will get 4 oxygen 2. This is what oxygen atom. Now, if you are smart enough, what do you understand? Every time you are multiplying by 0.49 Na divided by 98. 0.49 n a divided by 98 what was a special number here 2 but that was atomicity of hydrogen what was a special number here 4 that was atomicity of oxygen now if you are smart enough number of sulfur atoms will be same it will be 0.49 multiplied by n a divided by 98 you have to multiply by atomicity of sulfur similarly if you want to calculate total number of atoms again it will be 0.49 multiplied by na divided by 98 and you will multiply by a special number 7 that's atomicity of total here you multiplied by one that was atomicity of sulfur this is how it should be done we come to the next section of mole concept and here the perspective is to calculate number of particles but this number of particles are not number of atoms not number of molecules but we want to right, calculate unusual particles like electrons, protons and neutrons. So for that there is an example. Find number of electrons present in 20 molecules of ammonia. If this is a question, if you take nitrogen it has 7 electrons. If you take hydrogen it has 1 electrons. So ammonia as a molecule will have how many electrons? Correct, 10 electrons. So 20 molecules will have how many electrons? Cross multiply. That is 20 multiplied by 10. Or I can say 10 multiplied by 20. That is what is the number? That is 200 electrons. So total number of electrons are 10 multiplied by 20. By the way, what is 10? 10 is number of electrons present in one molecule and what is 20 number of molecules from this do we get any formula yes what is the formula you want to calculate particles like electrons protons neutrons then multiply by f what does f stands for you can call it as factor Whatever number of particles are under interest, those particles in one molecule. We'll call it simple number factor. And what does N stands for? N stands for number of molecules. So if you take number of molecules, multiply by number of particles in that molecule, you will get the required number of particles. Now, do you remember what is the formula for getting number of molecules? Yes, N into Avogadro number. If you don't recall, you remember number of moles is number of molecules upon Avogadro number. So what is the formula for N? N into Na. Now, if you want 
n can be written as weight upon molar mass that is a formula for number of moles mass upon molar mass or you can write down f volume of a gas divided by volume of a gas in liter at stp divided by 22.4 multiplied by na you remember number of moles given by right given by a formula volume of gas in liter divided by 22.4 from that we got formula so what you can remember is number of particles is given by the formula factor multiplied by number of molecules or more better factor multiplied by number of moles multiplied by avogadro number that formula remains there only only number of moles we write down weight upon molar mass or we write down volume upon 22.4 now using this formula or this shortcut we'll try to go to the numericals so we are go to the question find number of electrons present in 9 gram of water for that you should know oxygen has eight electrons because its atomic number is 8 hydrogen has one electron so one water molecule has how many electrons answer is 10 electrons so we realize factor is 10 factor is 10 so number of electrons ka factor is 10 number of electrons is given by the formula factor multiplied by number of moles multiplied by avogadro number now how to calculate moles from the data of mass it can be calculated by a formula mass upon molar mass multiplied by avogadro number what is the factor we got yes 10 what is the mass 9 given what is the molar mass of water 18 what is avogadro number 6.02 into 20 to the power 23 then you solve you will get if you solve you will get 5 multiplied by 6 that's approximately 30 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 electrons or 3 into 10 to the power 24 electrons so what we did first we calculated factor so in all such numericals where you are going to find out number of electrons protons neutrons or so on what is the first task that you do you use find out factor what is the factor whatever you are going to calculate in one molecule what are you calculating here electrons so number of electrons in one molecule then multiply the formula factor with number of moles multiplied by avogadro number but data does not give you number of moles it gives you mass how to get right number of moles from mass number of moles is given by the formula mass upon molar mass take mass divide by molar mass you will get moles from that you will be able to calculate if you have understood this you should be able to get this on your own so go ahead pause this video and solve it on your own Yes all of you should have done you know carbon is 6 12 we are talking about normal carbon so 12 minus 6 that is 6 neutrons are present if you take oxygen 8 16 16 minus 8 it has 8 neutrons so normal elements normal isotopes will be considered 
सो वन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉलिक्यूल विल हैव हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल हैव हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सिक्स फॉर कार्बन एंड एट फॉर न्यूट्रॉन्स इफ यू एड यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी टू न्यूट्रॉन्स दैट मीन्स फैक्टर फॉर न्यूट्रॉन्स इज ट्वेंटी टू Do you remember a formula for calculating number of neutrons? Yes. What is the formula for calculating particles like protons, neutrons, and so on? It is factor multiplied by number of moles multiplied by Avogadro number. Factor is twenty two. Avogadro number is six point zero two ten to the power twenty three. Now the question is how to get moles. For that, you should go back to the data. Data given is two point eight decimeter cube. There is a volume given of a gas, but with no information whether it is at STP or non-STP. If no data is given, we'll consider as a STP. So that means they have given volume at STP, then. You will divide by twenty two point four. You will get number of moles. So it is twenty two multiplied by volume is how much? Two point eight divided by twenty two point four multiplied by six point zero two into ten to the power twenty three. Cancel the numbers as much as possible. So two point eight one za. And two point eight eight za. This is what you will get if you simplify. This is four. This is three. If you simplify further, then accordingly you will get the numbers five point five. So approximately it is five point five multiplied by three into ten to the power twenty three. This many number of Neutrons will be present. Now, many a times, right? Algebraic calculations will require faster understanding. Twenty-two point four is a common number, so for your faster calculation, remember multiples of twenty-two point four. If you double it, it is forty-four point eight. If you multiply by three, it is sixty-seven point. Two. Then also remember, if you divide by two, it is eleven point two. If you divide by four, it is five point six. If you divide by eight, actually you are going to divide this number only by two. So it is two point eight. So remember, twenty two point four. Is some multiple of two point eight, some multiple of five point six, and so it is eight times this and four times this. Such simple, simple understanding will help you to solve numericals. So we come to the next part of mole concept only, but now we want to deal with charge. You are aware what is the charge present on one electron? E minus is a symbol. We'll be using it for electron. You know what is the charge present on electron? One point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. Then what is the charge present on one mole of electrons? One mole of electron means six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three. Cross multiply. That is. Six point zero two two into ten to the power minus nineteen multiplied by one point six. Sorry, it should be six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three multiplied by one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen. Now, if you multiply this and this. Approximately, it is nine point six five, and if you multiply 
10 to the power 23 and 10 to the power minus 19, you will get 10 to the power 4. If you open up, that is 96500 Coulomb. So remember charge present on one mole of electrons is 96500 which is popularly remembered as one faraday in the remembrance of the great scientist michael faraday you should also as a student should know charge on one electron and charge on one proton is same it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 in case of proton it is positive in case of electron it is negative okay what is one faraday one faraday is a charge given by symbol 1f is a charge present on 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 electrons or you can say charge present on one mole of electrons is remembered as one faraday that means you should remember if you multiply avogadro number with charge of one electron you will get 96500 that means charge of one electron and Avogadro number, if you multiply, you will get 96,500 Coulomb, which is remembered as 1F. Or you want to write down, you can write down 1 Faraday with F as a small symbol. Henceforth, wherever you come across 1.6 into 10 to the power 23, Remember, it is 96,500 Coulomb or 1 Faraday. We come to numericals based on this. Find charge present on 100 chloride ions. 1 chloride ion, that is Cl minus 1, has a charge due to that 1 extra electron it has got. So, charge of one chloride ion is due to one extra electron. What is the charge of extra electron or electron? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and it is minus. So, multiply by minus and it is only for one extra electron. Imagine instead of one extra electron, if there would have been two extra electron, then you would have multiplied two with 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. You would have multiplied like that. Charge of 100 chloride ions will be how much then? Cross multiply the numbers. You will get the charge present on 100 chloride ions. That will be 1 multiplied by 100. 100 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. From this, we come to know 100 is the number of particles. 1 is a magnitude of the charge present. You can refer it as a factor 1 electron extra. Factor 1. And 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 is a charge of 1 electron. From this you got the method. We will try out for one more right species. We should get the same method. What is the charge present on one calcium ion? It is due to loss of two electrons. You know one calcium atom has 20 protons and 20 electrons and therefore has zero charge because number of protons and number of electrons are equal. But when you say one calcium ion, protons number will remain same because nucleus remains unaffected but electrons will become 18 so electrons will become less that means now 
देर विल बी टू एक्स्ट्रा प्रोटॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन साइड द कैल्शियम आयन सो देर फोर दे विल है चार्ज ऑफ टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइनटीन बिकॉज दिस इज अ चार्ज प्रेजेंट ऑन प्रोटोन एंड यू आर डीलिंग विद टू प्रोटोन्स एंड देन यू विल हैव अ प्लस फैक्टर बिकॉज प्रोटोन्स हैव प्लस चार्ज सो वन कैल्शियम आई एन हैज अ चार्ज ऑफ प्लस टू इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइनटीन so what do you expect charge present on 50 calcium yes you will multiply by 50 what does that 50 stands for 50 stands for number of calcium ions 2 stands for that extra magnitude of the charge present on the calcium ion and you can remember this is still the charge of one electron and we write down plus because it is a positive ion so from this we got a general formula what is a general formula charge on n particles will be n multiplied by the factor factor for calcium 2 plus will be how much factor for calcium 2 plus will be 2 what will be factor for n 3 minus it will be 3 what will be factor for hydroxide ion it will be 1 you are you understanding what is that factor is the magnitude of the charge present multiplied by the charge of an electron or a proton if it is a positive ion then plus if it is a negative ion then minus but now instead of dealing with n particles if you are dealing with n moles then what is the formula then n moles has how many particles n mole has n multiplied by evo gedro number of particles so in the place of n now you should write down n multiplied by evo gedro so number of particles present in n moles is n multiplied by avogadro number multiplied by factor multiplied by the charge present on electron or a proton in coulombs now if you remember avogadro number multiplied by charge of one electron charge of one electron or a proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this is a charge present on one electron or a proton if you multiply by avogadro number do you remember anything avogadro number multiplied by charge of one electron is nothing but 96 times in 500 coulomb which is 1 faraday are you able to see right avogadro number is getting multiplied by charge of one electron so if these two factors are multiplied what is the number you get yes 96500 so what is the charge present on n mole of particles is n number of moles n a And one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen, but this two multiplied number will be what? Ninety six thousand five hundred. If you want, you can write down this as plus or minus n multiplied by f Faraday, because ninety six thousand five hundred coulomb is one Faraday, one Faraday. so the f here stands for faraday now we'll actually apply for a question find charge present on two moles of nitride ion so in nitride ions in this question what is the moles two what is the factor that is the charge present on this in magnitude 3 
So what is the formula for a charge in Coulomb? N multiplied by factor multiplied by 96,500. And why minus? Because you are dealing with negatively charged ion. If you are dealing with negatively charged ions, you have to write down minus. So in the place of N2 factor 3 multiplied by 96,500 Coulomb. That's the answer. If you want, you can write down this as 6 Faraday. If you remember, 96,500 Coulomb is 1 Faraday. So you can write down minus 6 Faraday. We'll try to see slightly different question. Find the charge present on 8 gram of O2 plus ions. First, you should know what is the moles. Take the mass, divide by the molar mass. Mass is 8. And what is the molar mass for 1 oxygen? 1 oxygen, the mass is 16. Remember, you are not dealing with O2. You are dealing with a single oxygen. So, value is 0.5 mole. What is the factor? What is the magnitude of the charge present? Yes, 2. What is the formula for charge? In Coulomb, N multiplied by a factor multiplied by 96,500. But why you are writing positive? Because you are dealing with positively charged ion. So, what is the number of moles? 0.5. What is the factor? 2 multiplied by 96,500. If you solve, you will get plus 96,500 Coulomb or you can write down 1 Faraday. How to write an answer depends on the way the question is asked or the way MCQ is asked. That way the answer will be done.